Now that we've connected to our Azure DevOps collection, and we know we have a project created in that collection, let's look at how we can check in code. So you can see here that I've opened a C Sharp console project. This is a .NET 6 uh, core project. So just a simple hello world. And in order to check this in, to get it into our source control, we come over to our Solution Explorer window and we make sure that we are selecting the solution, not the project, right? The project is the one with the little C-sharp badge. We want the one that says solution. We're going to right click that and choose add solution to source control. Now, when we do that, we're going to get a little prompt that's going to show us the current collection that we are connected to. And then we should be able to see all of the projects underneath. And I'm going to choose the new one that I just created named examples. Now at this point, if you would like to change the name of the folder that the solution is going to be placed in, you can see that these have folders underneath, right? Named bowling scores two and positive negative. If I want to change that folder name, I can do so right here. Once I click OK, a couple of things are going to happen. First, I should see these little plus marks that show up next to the files inside of my solution. And if I come over to my Source Control Explorer window, now under my examples project, I can see this sample app with a plus mark. A plus mark means that we have a pending addition or a pending change to add this information to our source control server. At this point, the item is checked in locally, so right here on this computer only. If I go to my web interface for the project and I click on examples, I can see that I don't have any code in here yet. There, there's nothing in here because I have not checked this in. I have simply added it to the pending changes list. So the next step to check in our changes is to either right click again on the solution and go to check in, or you can also find the check in button here at the top of the Source Control Explorer window, looks like a little box with an arrow going up. When you choose Check In, over here in the Pending Changes window that will open, it's going to ask you for a commit comment. Now, most Source Control environments use commenting when you're checking in an item in order for you to log or catalog the changes that you've made. So I'm going to name this Initial check in and I'm going to click the check in button and it's going to confirm. So yes. And we should see that those items are being uploaded. It's going to tell me my change set is successfully checked in. I no longer have the little plus mark over here. And if I go to my solution explorer, the plus marks that I saw on those files have been changed to padlocks. Now that means that the items have not only been checked in, but they have been uploaded to the server. So if I come back to my web interface under repos, I should now see my sample app checked in and the code is all under here. So if it's visible here in the web interface, I know it's been uploaded to the server and anyone else with access to this collection who might be able to work on my files, or in our case, your instructor who's grading your work does in fact have access to it. Now we can continue to work on our project and check in as many times as we need. We have to remember that as we work, the item will be automatically checked out for us, which means we're editing it and we're making changes, and then those changes have to again be checked in. So if I make a change, I can see a red check mark has been placed next to my program.cs file. 
which means the item is checked out. In fact, if I put my mouse over, it says checked out to me. So that means I've made a change and I can save that change to my computer, but this change, anything marked with this check mark with a pending edit has not been uploaded yet unless I check in. So once again, we'll want to come over and click check in. Again, you can right click on the solution and go to check in and we'll make a comment. Now, good comments for our commits should describe what it is that we have done or if it is related to a particular work item, we should make that note because later when we come back to our source control items and we review the history, we'll want to be able to know what happened in each one of those commits. Now you can see I went ahead and checked this in. So now this particular change has happened. And again, I can verify that by coming to my web interface, coming into my sample app and reviewing my program.cs file. And I can see line three, the addition that I have created. Also in the web interface, if I click under repos change sets, here I can see those comments that I'm making and anyone else who might have access to my collection, again, if I'm working as a group, or in our case, your instructor, can see these particular change set messages, and we can actually dig into these and see exactly what was changed, which again is one of the biggest benefits of source control, allows us to review changes, look at what changed, what was added or removed in certain change sets, and we even have the ability to roll back changes that we may have made that have already been checked in. So now we're at the end of our video, I'm going to show you some further things that you can do with your Azure DevOps server in our next videos.